Welcome everybody. We're going to talk about the Hydra stent today and some of the techniques I use to just make this a routine procedure. Here you can see the trabecular meshwork and the Hydra stent approaching it, engaging the canal, and uh, pushing up against it. After having released the Hydra, you can see uh, the stent in the canal. So here we go. You make your incision about four o'clock, four o'clock hours away from the target of where you're going, going to implant the Hydra in the angle. Here's a side port incision. You really do want to go away from the main temporal incision. I like to reverse cut the internal aspect of the incision to give myself a little bit more flexibility and it'll still seal uh, very nice for you. This is the hands-free uh, oculus gonio prism. By trimming the apron on the side, you make room for the side port incision you've just used. Tilting the head 40 degrees away and then tilting the microscope 40 degrees away gives you a nice 80 to 85 degree approach towards uh, your view of the surgery. Checking the hydrus, making sure it's all right. Once you go into the anterior chamber and obtain the view you want, just put a little BSS. I found that helon or viscoelastic on the cornea just slides around the uh, gonio prism too much, so a little BSS for me is fine. High mag is really important, getting a good magnification and getting a zoom in so you can see the details of the uh, trabecular meshwork. Here we're going right in the middle of TM. We want to target that, aiming 15 degrees up, pointing into the canal. It may take you a few uh, attempts to scratch the trabecular meshwork and make sure you've got a nice little opening. And then once you're um, confident that you're behind the TM and you've got that little scoop of, of meshwork, you can go ahead and put in the first eyelet. You've still got pretty good back pressure at this point, um, getting that first eyelet in, but once you do, let off just a touch, still stay married to the back of the posterior wall, but less pressure, level out, and then go ahead and inject. You can see the hydra sliding in very nicely, come to your hard stop, slide back and away, and then gently tuck that uh, hydra in, so about half of the first uh, window is, is covered by TM. Hopefully this video just gives you some tips and feel more confident with your approach. I'd like to acknowledge that surgeons have taught these techniques very well, as well as my own local representative, Ben Gonzalez, and all his help with the procedure, and I hope it goes really well for you. Thank you.